so guys even though i have printed five logs over here but once i load the pdp page url you will see that in the server logs only the three logs are getting printed the two logs which are set at info or debug level are not getting printed what is the reason for that i will be covering the complete logging mechanism in this video i will be explaining you what are the different log levels and what are their priorities so this is what we are going to learn in this video also guys if you see the server logs we are not currently logging the db queries which application is firing into the db on load of a page but as soon as i basically execute a script and after that if i try loading the ptp page url you will see that we will be logging all the queries which application will be firing into the db on the page load so you can see currently script is getting executed now it has been completed and if i load the pdp page url now and if i check into the server logs you will see that it will start printing all the queries also you can see it has printed all the queries which are basically getting fired into the into the db so all these are queries are getting fired into the db and these are very helpful when you will be analyzing a production issue because then you will get to know that okay these these are the queries which are getting fired into the db and these queries might impact the system performance and guys if you see any db table for example this is the employee db table or the employee item type here we have one column pk is the column right so this pk column is having the unique values for each row right so how this pk column values are different from the pk of a traditional db table right so in the traditional db table also we have the pk column right how this pk or how hybris pk is different from the pk column of traditional db table we are going to see in this video and finally guys in the production system you must have noticed that we get lot of exceptions related to a particular item type or a particular pk for example over here if you see we get the exceptions right where we are printing where we are printing some kind of pk and if we want to know that this pk belongs to which item type how we will come to know so for that there is a pk analyzer which hybris has provided out of box we will review the pk analyzer also in detail hello friends welcome to the 99th session of hybris tutorial guys in this session we are going to see some of the important concepts which we use in the production system very frequently so the first concept which we use in production system very frequently is the logging mechanism or the logging concept this concept we use to trace or to identify the root cause analysis or the rca of the production related bugs so the first thing we are going to learn is logging framework how we use the logging framework in hybris then we will see what are the different levels of logging then we guys we will see how we can enable or disable the different levels of logging for a particular class in hybris i will show you a end-to-end -end demo for this then we will see priorities of different levels of logging i will show a demo for this point as well then guys we will see how we can enable the logging via via system via cockpit and how we can enable or disable the logging via the script i will give you that script as well then guys finally we will see how we can log all the queries fired during a page load for example let's say i load the pdb page right which all queries are being fired in the database right by the application we will see how we can log all those queries right so this is going to be very helpful for you the second topic which we are going to learn is pk concept in sap hybris so what is pk and how we use pk concept in hybris we will see then guys we will also see how hybris pk is different from the standard database pk you must have noticed that in traditional db also right we have a unique pk right in each db table how our hybris pk is different from the standard database pk that we are going to learn in this video 
can a hybris pk be generated outside of hybris as well or not we we are going to see this as well then guys finally we will see can we copy the db table from one environment to another environment along with the pk values what is the recommended way that we are going to see for example let's say i want to you know copy the employee table from the syt environment to dev environment with the pk values as well so whether it is possible or not possible and what is the recommended way that is what we are going to see in this video and guys finally we will see what is pk analyzer what is the use of pk analyzer so these are the concepts which we are going to learn in this video these are very important concepts but are very easy concepts as well but we use these concepts very frequently so before starting anything guys first of all i want to show you that i already have b2c accelerator set up in my system that is why i am able to open the basic cockpits for example i am able to open the hse right and i am able to log in as well in case you have not done the b2c accelerator setup you can watch my video the link of video is given in the description box as well as on the top right corner in the card section but since i have already done the setup that is why i am able to open the hsc right and also i will be able to open the back office and the electronic b2c storefront as well for example you can see electronic b2c storefront is getting loaded this will get load loaded in some time right also guys i have uploaded the notes and the code files related to this topic on the google drive so here i have uploaded all the relevant information related to this video also the scripts which we will be using in this video i have already uploaded you can also download these notes and the code files by clicking on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can also download these notes right guys this is a demo video in case you want to view the detailed concepts related to the logging framework in hybris as well as the pk concept in hybris you can view our member specific video which is one hour long to get the access of this member specific video you just have to click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can also request for the access of this member specific video now guys the first of all before starting anything i want to show you what is the logging mechanism in hybris i just want to show you a very small demo of the logging for example guys this is the home page of electronic b2c storefront and guys if i click on any product if you see in the server logs this is how these logs are looking like right as soon as i click on any product for example i have clicked on on a product and you can see some of the logs are getting printed right how these logs are getting printed that is what i am going to show you what are the different log levels right that is what also we are going to learn and what are the priorities of those log levels this is all what we are going to learn in this video now guys we will see where actually the logging concept we use in actual production systems for example guys when you load the pdp page when we are loading a pdp page in the back end guys this is the controller class product page controller dot java this class is getting called right and this is the method which gets called in the back end right and guys in the production system let's say there is any issue which is coming up and you don't know what is that issue right so you want to firstly check whether when the request is landing on this api whether you are getting the product code right from the request or not you want to log all those details right and you want to print all those details in the server log right for such type of requirement you want the logging i hope it is clear to you why you need the logging right now for example i want to print the product code in this api right so what i will do i will just write here log dot info okay 
so this is one of the log level log dot info and i will just write here product code is product code is product code is product code i will be just printing this product code so i will just write over here plus product code okay so that's what i am printing over here now guys since i have already set up the hot swap integration with my system that's why i don't need to restart my system in case you don't know how to do the hot swap integration you can watch my video the link of video is given in the description box as well as on the top right corner but since i have already done the hot swap integration so i will just build my extension training storefront extension and my changes will start reflecting since i have newly added this log into the java class i don't need to restart the system my logs will start reflecting automatically once the once the extension build is completed so this is gonna take some time and once it is completed then we will see that we will be able to see the updated changes so let's wait for the build to get completed you can see now guys the build has been completed and if you don't have the hot swap integration what you can do you can just restart your system you can build your project and then restart your server then also it will work fine but since i have the hot swap integration i will not do the restart and what i will do i will just enable the debug so you can see i have enabled the debug or now what i will do guys i will just fire the pdp page url again so you can see i am hitting this url and once i will hit this url right the request should land over here so you can see the request has been landed on the pdp product page controller so here you can see this is the log log dot info product code i am trying to print the product code in the server logs as you can see over here in the server logs this is how it is looking currently if i go to the next line if i go to the next line you will see in the server in the server logs product code would have been printed if you see over here in the server logs in the server logs product code has been printed right so now you are sure that at least the product code we are getting from the request successfully right you can then add some more logs to try what exactly is the issue right but this is your local system in case you have deployed your application or already in that scenario you have to place these logs already strategically right but then there is a problem also that these logs will consume your system capacity also it will degrade the system performance if you if these logs keep on running every time that is why we have the concept of different log levels right that is what we are going to learn in this video what are the different log levels because we cannot basically print all these logs every time we want to print these logs only at the time of requirement when some issue comes up and then we want to enable these logs right and we want to see okay what are the values which we are receiving from the front end right uh, only at a particular time if we want to you know enable the logs how we can do that that is what i am going to tell you in this video but i hope now you understand what is logging right now if i give you more detail about the logging if you see right how we have used the logging log.info firstly we have basically if you see in the product page controller on the top we have uh, we have initialized the instance of the logger class right and where this logger class is defined if you see in the imports we are using the loggers of org.apache right we are using the apache loggers right now if you see where this logger class is defined this logger class is defined basically in a jar
so i hope this concept is also clear to you these are the concepts which we use while you know debugging the issues in the production system i hope this video will be helpful for you in fixing the issues in the production system and in case you get any other issue please feel free to drop an email to us on amandeep in java hybris at gmail.com and guys if you like this video please share this channel with your friends thank you for watching bye